Hello. So I'm going to do a Lenormand reading for each of the signs for February. This will be for Leo. And I thought that would be fun because I really like my Lenormand cards. And I'm going to pick some cards and see what they have to say. And as always, this is a general reading. This is may not resonate with everyone. You may pick bits and pieces of the reading out that relate to you. And this is what I'm seeing. This is what I'm feeling. You may see or feel something differently. You may get more messages than what I'm able to point out. Number 27, the letter. This is a message, some information. Patience in making a connection. Oh, we have number one, the messenger. Well, you're definitely getting some communication, that's for sure. Somebody's communicating with you. You're getting... Somebody's going to come in and communicate with you. News coming in, new things, a new cycle, and ending in old, of old ways. Number 34, the fish. Let's see, the fish, abundance and wealth. Woohoo! Maybe you're going to get some communication coming in that you've inherited a bunch of money and <laughs> you'll have a new way of life being very financially secure. That would be a good thing. Look at that. Wishing well. Wishes coming true. It's going to take some hard work though with the wishing well because there's a manual little crank there so you have to crank the bucket down to get the water and then crank it back up but might take some hard work but wishes coming true so maybe if your wish is to have money sounds like that's coming in number 40 the mask the mask. Let's see, and we have the magnifying glass. So I feel like maybe you're not able to see all of the information that you need in a situation. You have to take a closer look at things. Maybe there's some, someone tries to communicate with you, somebody's coming in to communicate with you, but they might have a false mask on, and you just have to take a closer look at what their intentions are. Yeah, knowledge. I feel like what... Whatever this situation is that you need to, that you're dealing with in February, that you have to take a closer look at it and just make sure it is what you think it is and you have all the information on it. The compass, which direction are you going to go in in this situation? For some reason, it just popped in my mind. It just, and this may relate to some people, not everybody, but I feel like maybe somebody's coming back into your life, and everything seems too good to be true. And you just need to make sure that you check out what their motives are first before you accept them back into your life. It could be in a any sort of relationship. It could be a family member, a friend, a significant other. Oh, look at that, the man. It could be a man. Or it could be a partner. It doesn't have to be a man. 
It could be a father, it could be a brother, but he is holding a rose, so I feel like it's more relationship, not relationship related. It doesn't have to be a man, it could, it could be a woman. I, I feel like it doesn't have to be bound, but I feel like that's by gender, but it, it represents a partner. So I feel like for February that there you're going to get some communication from someone and things could be really great <clears throat> it could be very positive you could be very happy but I also feel like it's also saying make sure that you take a closer look at their intentions and make sure that they're not making a wearing a mask that they could have false you know, false mask on and that maybe their intentions really aren't that great. And just make sure that you take a closer look and you get all the information you can about them coming back in, you know, before you let them back in. I'm not saying don't let them in. Of course, use your own best judgment in any situation. But if there's someone coming back in, just take a closer look and make sure you know why they're coming back in. I'm not saying that it's going to be negative. I'm just saying just take a closer look. That's all I'm saying. But I also feel that, you know, you could be receiving some communication because there's a letter and there's a messenger here. Could be from someone new, maybe someone could be that you used to know from your past, someone could be coming in and communicate with you and maybe you were waiting for them to communicate with you and they finally do and that makes you really happy. And you guys, you know, start hanging out again. So it could be that also. All right, I think that was good. I had fun, I like using those cards. I hope you enjoyed that too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.